Nova High School went into lockdown after the shooting, the bullet piercing this second floor window set right behind me. The glass has since been repaired. Students here tell me it's all too common for them to have to go into lockdown due to gun violence in this neighborhood. So I was just chilling, family held, doing my work as like per usual. Theo Mack and other students at Garfield High School got these notifications Thursday telling them to shelter in place. Usually when this happens, there's an outside threat in the community. The directive went out following a shooting which took place about a block away near Nova High School at around 1.45 p.m. I kind of like part of my mind thought it was a like a like a pretend like a fake one. But then I was like, there were gunshots yesterday. Seattle police say that the shooting sent a 45 caliber bullet through the second story window at Nova. But fortunately, nobody was hit. That kind of brings a whole new different level onto it because that might make it seem like that it was aimed towards Nova, you know, aimed towards a person. And that could dramatize things a lot more than just the maybe like a stray shot. SPD says a 911 caller reported that six to seven shots were fired in rapid succession. Witnesses told police someone in a dark sedan traveling north on 25th fired several times at a person walking near the Garfield High School playfield. Police say it doesn't appear the high school was intentionally targeted. They say around a dozen casings were also located nearby on 25th. The fact that it is hitting so close to home is is wild. Ellie Haviland says Leshi Elementary is also close by. This is a route that I walk daily either by myself or with my kids and I want this to be a place where everyone feels like they are safe. Another shooting was reported near Garfield High School yesterday and you'll recall that in June a teenager was shot and killed near Garfield after attempting to break up a fight between two other people. Unfortunately there is seems to be kind of a hot spot around the high school. I think it's a much bigger systemic issue but but it's coming up as, unfortunately, gun violence. Max says he feels the schools have gotten practiced in responding. Pretty secure, like the closing, locking the doors, closing the blinds. It's like, it's good security measures. I mean, there's not much more they can do. Police say the bullet has been located and has been taken into evidence. They are still searching for a suspect at this time. Reporting in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.